allocate out the cost. So here's some common types of allocation bases, activity bases, common things that we would need to allocate out. If we're allocating, for example, something like wages, let's say we have someone that we are paying that is going to be in charge of multiple different departments. Well, then we might look at the hours worked per department to allocate out those wages. In other words, if we're talking about wages of individuals that are working in multiple different departments, then we can think and say, well, what would be a good activity base for us to use to apply out wages to multiple different departments? Well, if we know the hours that people have worked within different departments, we can use that on a ratio analysis. We can look at the hours, we can figure out the relative hours per department on a percentage basis in relation to the total, adding up to 100, of course, use that as our method of allocating out the wages to the departments in accordance with that ratio. If we're talking about something like rent, let's say we have these three departments that are all in the same building and we have to apply the rent. They all, of course, are using the rent in some way that we have to pay for the building. We want to apply that out to the departments in some way. Well, that would commonly be used. The floor space seems like a reasonable activity base there because clearly if you're talking about the rent, you would think that the square footage of the floor space would be something that would be reasonable for us to use as an activity base to then allocate out the cost of the rent to the departments because larger departments then would have more of the rent. Now, again, you could have differences here because you could say, and we'll look at some problems where we say, no, that's too simplified. What if the first floor is more highly valued than the second floor and the rent on the first floor would be more highly valued than the rent on the second floor? It could be that uh, it would be more appropriate to have some bit more complex type of activity based allocation and something like that. But you could see our goal here is to pick an appropriate activity base, the floor space, using the relative floor space between departments to get ratios percentages we can then use to allocate out the, the cost. Advertising. So the advertising, we might have advertising for multiple different departments. And we have to apply out the advertising budget to the to the multi, the costs to the multiple departments. Now, an, a common activity base there is sales revenue, because there could be a, a correlation. Of course, we hope that the advertising is is correlated in some way to the sales revenue. So we might look at the relative revenue generation, draw a percentages of the departments in revenue, use those percentages to then apply out to advertising. Now, once we get this concept down, we'll, we'll talk about this concept of how we do these percentages, then that becomes pretty systematic. Once we know uh, how to do that, we'll come up with these ratios. That'll be fairly easy. We just need to re realize that we, we can use different type of activity bases to run these ratios. And we want to use the best activity base that's going to be driving uh, what the relative size, what the relative cost will be appropriately to the departments. So then we might have depreciation. We might have the building. What if we don't rent the building? We have depreciation on the building or let's say depreciation on equipment. So if we're talking about depreciation on equipment that's going to be used by multiple departments, then we might have the hours used per department. To do that, of course, we would have to track the hours that are being used for the piece of equipment. And then once we do that, we can add up the hours and we can use a ratio analysis comparing the hours used in one department versus the hours used in another department. And we can then uh, apply that out and apply it out the depreciation to the appropriate department based on that ratio analysis. Utilities. Again, we might have the whole building. We might pay one utility bill. We don't pay utilities per floor possibly. If we did, then that would be one way to go. If we don't, <laughs> then if we don't pay utilities per department and we pay one utility bill and we have three departments in it, how do we allocate the utilities? Again, another common way we might do that is that, that an easiest way would you would think would say the floor space occupied because you would think that larger floor space being occupied would then have more utility. Now, again, you might, you might argue that that's not the case because you could have one department that uses a lot more uh, utility than others for some reason or another in some circumstance. And if that's the case, then you'd have to make some adjustment for that possibly in order to appropriately allocate the utilities. If all the departments you would think are just doing this normal stuff, the lights and whatnot in the, in the offices, then you would think the floor space would be a relevant activity base to use. So just know these are going to be some common kind of ways that we can apply out uh, what we're looking 